Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last week, we proved that the Catholic Church is the true church and has the true teachings of God. But which Catholic Church is it? The Catholic Church, after all, can be viewed as a lot of things, an organization, an episcopate, a franchise, a set of teachings, or even a group of believers, and these sections of it don't always get along. How do you know which Catholic Church is right? Really, it boils down to this. There's a group in the church that says the Pope and the Magisterium protect the church's true teachings and that the Holy Spirit keeps them from error. Then there's a group that says those teachings are wrong and need to change. Well, as we proved over the last couple of episodes, the church's teachings can't be changed or else they wouldn't conform to God's will anymore. Because of this, we know that the second group of people are wrong, and it's us, not the church, who needs to change. This is hard for a lot of people to hear, because it means admitting that you're not perfect and following someone else's moral guidance, things we've basically been trained not to do by television and movies. But there is no doubt that this is the truth. Catholic orthodoxy, the decision to conform your will to the teachings of the Church, is objectively superior to heterodoxy, refusing to conform your will to the Church's teachings. If you want the truth about religion, this is how to find it. Now, people ask lots of other questions, too, about the way the Church's teachings work. So, let's address some of those now. Question 1. Do people within the church, like priests, bishops, monks, or even ordinary members of the laity, the non-ordained, have the power to change the church's teaching? No, they don't. We just finished proving the church's teaching is unchangeable. Question 2. Does the Pope have the power to change the church's teaching? No, he doesn't. The same proofs that apply to the bishops and the laity also apply to the Pope. Not even he has the power needed to change even a single teaching of the church. Question 3. Can God change the church's teaching? Here's an answer that might surprise you. No. Not even God can change the church's teaching, because doing so would mean breaking his word, and an infinitely honest being can't ever break his word. Therefore, God can't change the church's teaching, but he can protect it from ever being changed by anything else. So, in the end, the conclusion of today's studies is this. Catholic orthodoxy is the way to religious truth, and like the eternal truths it was founded on, no one and nothing can change it. Not me, not you, not the Pope, not even God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.